I think for myself. Uh, why, why did it take so long for science to gain hold as a way of understanding the natural world? It must be because our brain isn't wired scientifically. Otherwise, it would have been the first way we've ever imagined to understand the world, rather than inventing goblins and demons. And I mean, just look at the history of human culture and the stuff we invented just to account for what's around us. I don't even care if someone wants to say, you don't understand that, God did it. I, that doesn't even bother me. What would bother me is if you were so content in that answer that you no longer had curiosity to learn how it happened. If the day you stop looking because you're content God did it, I don't need you in the lab. You're useless on the frontier of understanding the nature of the world. And if the world had been if I'm glad whoever those folks are there aren't that many of them because if they dominated the world we'd still be in the cave we would have never left the cave because there are mysterious things out there and no God is doing that and you don't need to know that and don't even think about it where would we be if their understanding of the world ruled the world so I don't mind it but just don't prevent others from conducting that investigation themselves. Because you think you're going to have an eternity in which you can talk to Mozart and, and, and Schopenhauer in, in, on a cloud and learn stuff and you know really get to grips with knowledge and understanding and so you won't bother now. I think you're, it's a terrible, a terrible mistake. It may be that there is an afterlife and I'll look incredibly stupid but at least I would have had a crammed pre-afterlife crammed life. So to me the most important thing is, um, you know, uh, as Kipling put it, you know, to fill every 60 seconds w uh, with, you know, what is it, to fill every unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, you know, absolutely. Uh, so that's all I'm saying, I suppose, is that, um, is that it, there's no point wasting time. There's no tradition of scientists knocking down the door, the Sunday school door, telling the preacher what to teach. There's no tradition of scientists picketing outside of churches, nor should there be some emergent tradition of religious fundamentalists trying to change the curriculum in the science classroom. I don't have the time, the interest, the energy to do any of that. I'm a scientist, I'm an educator. My goal is to get people thinking straight in the first place. Just get you to be curious about the natural world. That's what I'm about. I'm not about any of the rest of these. So what people are really after is what is my stance on religion or spirituality or God. You know, the only ist I am is a scientist. Right? I don't associate with movements. I don't, I'm not an ism. I, I just, I, I think for myself. When you conduct science, it is the natural world that is the ultimate decider what is true and what is not. Science is a relatively uh, late coming um, uh, conduct of uh, cultures and of the human mind. So uh, science is something to be proud of. It allows us to understand the world in spite of ourselves. <laughs>